Hello guys and welcome to Let's Build a Castle Part 1. Now you might be confused, Part 1, I'm sure we were well into the 15s, 20s of this series, but this series has now been running for over a year, and a year is an incredibly long time, which has meant with all my other builds, my build style has changed so much, meaning different bits of this castle don't represent the old bits of the castle, and although I did, I spent some time this weekend actually going back and trying to make the castle all look cohesive, although it hasn't worked. As you can see, this bit we're looking at now, I just don't feel fits. And I feel I might take this opportunity to start from scratch. Now, you might be thinking, what? That is a drastic idea. But I have a plan. It's going to be an incredibly similar style to the castle we've just seen. And as we pan over the bay here, you can see what we're going to build in the first episode is in the exact same stone style. Although, as you can see, I have planned out a good amount of it beforehand and have a whole concept of what I want this place to look. Because since the inception of the old castle, I've kind of lost vision of where I want this castle to go. So I feel we can move forward much, much more quickly with this one. So, as we open here, like a normal episode, we're going to start with the keep. And also, you might notice this episode is actually quite short. And I feel this could be a good way also to move forward with these episodes. They were occasionally 15 to 20 minutes long. And although at some times that is good, I'd like a big, long, chunky episode. But the other times, I feel actually it might be nice to get an episode out that's not too long, but not too short at the same time. And I feel this is quite a sweet spot so that the videos remain entertaining for, the, for a good period of time and you don't just drift off before after like maybe the 15 minute mark. So as you can see, speaking about this build style, I'm using again the exact same materials. I want the castle to be in that exact same style we saw previously, except I want it to be much more manageable, a bit more organized and a little bit more, I don't know, just efficient in a castle itself. I want it to look just as impressive because I, as I said, I did go back and I spent a lot of time. That This episode was originally going to be like reworking the old castle, but it was so big that reworking would have basically meant knocking down and rebuilding in certain places. And I feel that's just not what I wanted to do. I feel I would much rather start from scratch and begin again. Although, saying that, that might mean maybe in a year's time, who knows where we'll be in a year's time, and perhaps I'll get the idea that I'll, I'll have done another four or five Let's Build series and maybe, who knows, I will move back to the old castle. So, as you can see me building here using very similar styles, varying up the different kinds of stone just to give that different shading effect, because not only now, what something I have learned very the hard way really is, the way you can see me building into the rock, I'm not just building on a plain piece of stone here, I'm building into it, I'm extruding out of it, and that is something I went back to doing on the old castle, but due to the way I had previously built it, it wasn't. I wasn't able to extrude or or emboss into it as I'd like to. So I think this is another reason I wanted to build, just because I've refined my skills so much that I feel I could do a much better job a year later. So, as you see, we've built the two towers now. These are basically, the idea here is it's going to be a choke point. If this castle was under siege, you would have an army climbing up this hill and they would have to battle these two towers. And failing, say they do get through this, then you could see in the template that narrow bridge will be a second defensive position. So, I'm trying to build this castle with an idea of flamboyancy and elegance, but at the same time, strategic values that a metal medieval castle like this will in fact need. And not only that, with this new, brand new castle series, I've also come up with ideas that will exist after this castle is finished. Because as you can see as well, it is on a smaller scale, which I feel is much more efficient. It's going to be, I feel it's going to be just as epic, like the builds are going to be just as good, but there's not as many of them. as you, Like the towers are very similar sizes, except there's just not as many of them, and they're in much more confined area on that hill. And the fact that hill rises the way it does 
because I feel it will give a, a huge emphasis on the height of this new castle. So as well, these entry towers, I wanted them to be like quite stubby, quite realistic, because look, I looked back for this next build at references from real castles, and this is what mainly defensive positions, like those towers like this, would look like, and I feel these look a lot better than the pointy ones, although I'm going to use pointy ones in the main castle, like spire-like towers, for this defensive position, I feel, felt these were a little bit more efficient, a little bit more realistic. The same with my shaders mod. You might notice, I've been with my Lord of the Rings build, I use quite a vibrant, brightly coloured shaders mod, and I feel that works really well in the fantasy setting I'm creating with those builds, but for this castle, this realistic medieval castle I feel a med, a, a med not medieval I'm not medieval shaders a realistic shaders is necessary so as you can see as we pan across here we've finished this episode this is the narrow bridge I was talking about that leads on to the second keep and the rest of this build there is plenty of ideas I have to flush out and I hope you guys enjoy them and I will see you next time goodbye